going on guys? So I have walked across this bridge and ridden across this bridge probably hundreds of times. I've passed this river that's right behind me. So many times I've looked down at it, saw a bunch of fish, but I've never fished it. So I came down today with just some um, night crawlers and then my small little three foot rod and a small size six hook and a little split shot about 10 inches above it. That's just gonna help with casting a little bit. And I'm gonna head down there. Goal is gonna be to really just to see what kind of fish are out there. Uh, I came down yesterday, was here for about five minutes, and then it started uh, pouring, a giant thunderstorm. I waited it out, but unfortunately about an hour later after it stopped, the water level rose by about maybe a foot or two. The current was really ripping through and it looked like chocolate milk. So it's about 20 hours later. Uh, it's still a little murky, but it looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to use a small hook, size 6, to see what kind of fish are out there. Might even tie on a size 10 hook. I brought one a little bit smaller just to get some micros out of there. And really, I'm just excited to see what kind of fish are out there. So we'll give it a shot and we'll see what kind of new fish we can catch out of this river. All right, so we got our small piece of worm tied on, and before I actually head in the river, I can already see a couple micros down there. So I'm gonna cast out. Let's see if I can get one of these guys. We're going after my split shot. They don't see the worm yet. Oh, there, nope. Nope, that's still the split shot. There they go. Can I hook one of these guys? That's going to be the real challenge here, trying to hook one of these guys. All right, I just want to show you how small the size 10 hook is, because I've been here for about half an hour, went through a whole night crawler, and all those little killies or whatever they were, just took the bait, but couldn't get hooked. All right, so I've gone with even smaller pieces of night crawler, and I really hope that this will do the trick. There we go. Oh, what is this? All right, so this is not one of those killies. It's a tiny little pumpkin seed sunfish. So I've been messing around with those little killies trying to get those. And this is actually the first fish I've seen that is not a killie. So nice tiny little pumpkin seed, which I'm pretty happy with. I thought all I was going to see today were those little killies. So fish number one is in the books. Now let's see if we can catch one of those killies and add that to the list as well. Got him. First killie fish of the day. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, who would have thought that you could lip a killie fish? But it took me forever to get one of these guys hooked. They're just so tiny, their mouths are tiny. Uh, but this is gonna be the first killie fish I've caught out of here. Uh, Mummy Chug, I think, is the kind of more common name for this species of killie fish. Uh, nice fish. So I'm done with this one. I'm gonna let this one go. And I think now I'm gonna get in the river and try to find some deeper holes for some bigger fish but I'm glad I got this one off of my list. Got a whole bunch of killies out here in front of me again. I have a feeling that this river is going to be full of those and probably not much else because every cast, my bait's getting attacked. But it's just those little guys. I can see them right here through the water. Did I hook this one? No. All right, water looks a little bit deeper. We got a nice little rock pile here. something on there. It's small though. 
sure it's more of those killies. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Do I have him? Second killie of the day. This is a big one. But at least I hooked this one, but unfortunately there's not too many other fish out here. Alright, this is a feisty little one. But this is going to be my PB Mummy Chug. It's actually a really nice size, but I mean, that's not what I really want. It's cool to catch one of these guys, but there's so many of them in here. I would really like to get my bait in front of something else. But, Mummy Chug number two for the day in the books. There's a ton of them in this little hole. Do I have another one? I do. I'll be chugged three. So there's a ton of them in that little hole, so I don't think there's gonna be any other fish. So I'll take this one off and then we'll move down. Alrighty. I'll be chugged number three. It's another fat one. I mean, nice size on this one, but again, not what I really want. So I'm gonna move down a little bit further, see what else we can get out of here. Got another, another killie. Coloration on this guy's a little blander, a little bit more green, but again, not what we're going after. I have a feeling this river's gonna be full of these guys and really probably not much else. Alright, so water is way deeper down here, almost up to my waist. So I'm hoping there's some bigger fish hanging out over here. Yeah, getting bites, but just these small killies. Alright, so this part of the river definitely faster moving, a little bit shallower. We're coming up on a bridge, so maybe we'll be able to pull a fish out of here. At least I hope so. We got a pool over there to the side. There's got to be a fish hanging out there, relaxing out of the current. Maybe there isn't. Yep, I guess there isn't. All right, so deeper water here right beyond those currents, those rapids, if you will. Maybe there's a fish hanging out here. A couple small bites again. Alright, so there is nothing by this bridge. And this is going to be the end. I'm going to turn around, work my way back, hit all the same spots I hit before, and hope I can pull out something else. All right, tied on the small size 10 hook again. Figured if there's no big fish in here, might as well at least have a little catch and release with the little guys. This hook will give me a better chance to uh, hook up with them than the larger size six that I was using.
Another mummy chug. Yeah, so all it took was switching over that tiny hook, and I just got a another little mummy chug. So I might as well have fun with these guys if there's nothing else in this river. So all I've been doing today, just basically walking up the middle of the little river and trying to find deeper pockets. Like there's a fairly deep pocket here between all these trees and structures are always good. And we got another mummy chug. Unfortunately, there's no other fish besides these guys in here. All right, I'm basically back where I started. I was fishing right over there by that bridge uh, in the beginning where I caught that first pumpkin seed and that first killie. So I'll make a couple casts here. And I, actually, I think I'm gonna head upstream for a couple feet, probably just up, up until those rapids, because really I'd like to get something else besides all these killies. We got a deer up there, just checking me out. Hope it comes out well on camera. I'm sure there's not too many people in this river that that deer sees. Oh, got something, a couple bites. Is it on? Yep. Another mummy chug, what else would I get? Alrighty. Another little mummy chug. This is probably going to be the last fish of the day. Uh, I'm already a little bit past where I want, how far I wanted to go. So we'll let this guy go. We'll turn it around. We'll keep making some casts on our way down. But this is probably going to do it. So that is going to do it for today. Unfortunately, it is a little bit of a disappointing day. Uh, the first fish I caught was that pumpkin seed, which kind of showed me there were other fish in here. As soon as I jumped in the water, within five minutes, I see a large mouth swim by. So I'm thinking, all right, it's going to be a pretty good day. There's some different species of fish in here. And I walked probably about, I'd say, a half mile downstream, and then maybe, uh, probably a little bit less than a quarter mile upstream. And it's been nothing but killy after killy after killy. So I probably caught about 15 or 20 of those. Um, I, had, I had one go after my worm basically every single time I cast it out. So there's thousands of those in here. I just, I'm really surprised at the lack of biodiversity in this river. I mean, it's just all killifish and it's the same species of killifish too. Uh, I mean, one, one pumpkin seed, one large mouth that I saw, but thousands and thousands of killifish and not much else going on here. I was gonna come here one more time, probably this week, but after the way today went, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Cause I, I, I don't wanna just catch killies after killies after killies for another three or four hours or however long I was here. But it was disappointing based on the uh, types of fish that I caught, but I still had a pretty good time. It was, it was a fun day wading in the river. So as always, hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.